Well, I guess now I know how the Chilean miners felt. But instead of being trapped in a small cavern with about 30 other men for a few weeks, I was cold and alone, with nothing but collapsing tunnels, zombies and radioactive mountain dew to keep me company. Right, if this door doesn't lead to fresh air, well, I might be tempted to test what happens when you throw a human body onto the wrong end of a crowbar. Hell, I might as well die in the name of science and cake. But fortunately, I'm in fresh air and I'm still alive, apparently. Unless you have cake, I mean, I'm not saying, don't, not disputing that you can, that I can have cake, I mean, ugh. Oh, screw it. The universe isn't that generous. But yeah, I'll take cake over death any day. Hey, that's the thing. I wonder how much this job with the resistance pays. Well, I can't worse than my old job working in that grocery store. Seriously, Mr. Henson was one of the worst bosses I've ever had. Seriously, he made us work for 24 hours for a whole week. He even gave us shop collars to make sure we didn't run off. I mean, he didn't even let us live off the merchandise from the shelves. I was washing the taste of cardboard and duct tape out of my mouth for weeks. Wait a minute. Why does this alley look suspiciously familiar? Ah, oh, screw it. I couldn't ponder on such things when I get out of the city. Alright, who the hell keeps boarding up all the doors I come across? Seriously, all this weird crap is giving me some bad juju. Okay, deja vu is definitely creeping up on me like a bad hangover. Speaking of which, wasn't I hungover a few minutes ago? Then again, I hear battling horrific underground creatures is a great way of sobering up. Wow, who ordered a war zone? Either there's some emergency demolition work going on, or I stepped into downtown Baghdad. Holy mother of god! I guess I'm going for the latter choice! Okay, underground resistance work, sure, but battling freak tards with shotguns was not in the job description! Well, he did notice me. Maybe he'll come looking for me and I can get the jump on him. Dear Lord, I'm completely unarmed! And I'm sure the guy with the shotgun won't come looking for me. Oh, thank God it's a rebel. Captain, Jimmy's corpse is blocking the door. Hi, good timing. Larry Corden said someone like you would drop by. Expecting oh me then, Mr. Blofeld. Seriously, either I'm getting deja vu or there's a glitch in the matrix. Chillax, mate. All the coppers I've come across this morning are either deaf or retarded. I mean, what the hell are the bloody chances they've tracked me here? Anyway, I'm hungry. Mind if I raid your back room for a sec? Holy crap! This is the exact store I used to work in. I was too worried about cops and my possibly imminent demise to realise. But you're not Mr. Henderson! Because whatever you did to the old bastard, hell, I think I owe you a beer, mate. Alright, I guess I'll just leave you to that and I'll go get myself some food. My employee discount's still in effect, right? Oh god damn it! But now I can finally put to rest my queries as to what's the hell behind this place. Even as employees we weren't allowed back here. I mean, Mr. Henson held Carl at gunpoint once trying to get in there. Wait, wait, a kegger of beer? Oh my god, yes, I... No, no, no. Survival first, inebriation later. Oh, shiny. Well, that guy did say something about helping myself. <laughs> Yoink! A USB match? Eh, I would have preferred an M9 or a Glock, but this will do for now. Oh, or a Desert Eagle or a hand cannon? Oh, frick yeah! Right, what the hell's the matter, dude? Did you spill a box of cereal or something? Watch me back, I need to sort this out, we're both dead! Wait, what the hell? Oh, crap! Holy crap, the stupid ones are adapting! And it sounds like they have sharper spears! Activate cloaking device! I shall catch the Hun with his trousers down! Uh, this suit has a cloaking device, right? I shall strike from the shadows! Wait, wait, wait. What the hell am I doing bringing Kurobar to a gunfight? I guess that time crisis addiction as a seven year old is now paying off! Flawless! Kill, 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 kill! Oh god! Screw it, I'm moving to better cover. Jesus, these guys are packing heat. This is for wrecking my laptop, you bastards. That's 400 quid down the crapper. Wow, we're actually kicking some serious ass here. 
Yeah, eat it, eat it. Yeah, that's one level up, you bastards. Can't you guys take a frickin' hint? Oh, shit! I'm a crapper, I'm a crapper, I'm a dapper cram. <laughs> Holy crap! My suit actually stopped me from being crushed under the debris. Oh god, I nearly died back there. Airboat? I've always wanted to try one of those. But no, Lucy said, get a car, we need the money. Well, screw you, your parents are loaded, and I've wanted one since I was like five. Sweet Mahoney of the Selenosity! Oh god no, the store better not be locked! Yes, bullets, bullets, I'll need more bullets! Oh god, they're going to be chasing after me now. Better be ready! Oh, they're not coming. This means one of two things. Either they don't know I'm back here and they were just firing blindly, or maybe I can negotiate with these guys. I mean, if you can't beat them, join them, right? Right? Alright, better get into character. <coughs> right, here I bloody go. Excuse me, I am a representative of the United States military. Wait, where the hell are they? Uh, maybe they didn't hear me. Right. <coughs> Excuse me, I am a representative of the United... Crap! Time to be running, time to be running, time to be running! Well, it gets that concludes negotiations! Right, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? They know I'm here, no, they know I'm here! Right, running would be a good plan. It's better than running out there and dying fighting some soldiers. Thank the Lord for inventing side doors! Wait, what the fudge? Oh god, it's a sniper! Better run like hell, run like hell, run like hell! Gah! Mother loving... Gah! I'm... I'm... Bl I'm not... Bleeding. Oh my god, this suit! It stopped a 50 caliber sniper bullet! I'm never, ever, ever taking this suit off ever again. You hear me? I mean, this suit has genuinely saved my life. I mean, oh god, oh, I better get out of here before I push my luck. Okay, this looks ominous. Wait, who's that over there? Ugh. God, I can't see him. I have to get closer. Oh my god, it's a snowman! Well, Universal Union, for once in my life, you have entirely stumped me. And what the f*** is keeping that crate up there? Seriously, how was that wire keeping that gigantic crate up? I mean, I know I've probably got an entire CP district on my tail, but this defiance of the laws of physics simply must be investigated. Hell, if I don't work to keep the fabric of our universe from tearing apart, who will? Ash, goddamn unclimbable engine grease. Good thing these gloves are made from substance-proof materials. I wouldn't want my weapons slipping out of my hands in the middle of a firefight. Underlay! Okay, sometime I've really got to learn what that actually means. Gah, move out my way, you bloody crate! Holy Asmodeus Maximus! Is that really a G36C? Oh my god, I've wanted one of these ever since I first played Rainbow Six Vegas! Man, I'ma ruin someone's day with this beauty. Now to top off my day, I just need to find a Spaz-12 shotgun. Wait! Oh god, that guy back in the store had a shotgun. I should've gone it off him. Ah oh well. Now to solve this physics mystery.
Wait, what's this? Who the hell has the money to buy iron encrusted wire these days? And what the hell's important that could be in that crate? In fact, why hang that crate from the ceiling in the first place? Ugh, this place makes no sense. Oh well, mystery over. Okay, quite frankly, that was hilarious and stupid at the same time. It was funny to me. Whoa, you think all this killing would put me in an utter guilt trip? But really, I'm just partaking in that fantastic process called natural selection. Besides, I can probably call self-defense on most of this bullcrap. I'm sure Mr. Frosty here would like nothing more than shoot my face off than play a Miley Cyrus track at my funeral. Wait, are those batteries? And everything in here is petrol powered. Oh, they're for the suit. How the hell does that make sense? Oh well, I better carry some spares just in case. I could search this warehouse for more supplies, but I really don't have time. Whoa, so that's the airboat? Pretty cool, everything considered. I mean, the only decent auto repair shop within the area is that Larry guy's place. Yeah, the resistance must have some pretty damn good engineers to build this thing. God damn it, that guy didn't tell me it had no petrol in it. Ugh, I'll make sure the door's locked. I'm gonna have to fill this up by myself. Lazy son of a mother. I'm gonna need some tunes to pass the time and drown out my annoyance. After I've joined these resistance guys and got that manager promotion, I'm getting one of those soul pits to make sure nothing like this happens again. Oh my god, I'll be like a necromancer! As Raquel, Lord over management! Jazrakai! Makadou! Ha! Zekakadai! Blah! Okay, this isn't working. <laughs> 